welcome back to another session by k21 academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about maintenance of nodes in kubernetes so watch the video till the end how to do the maintenance consider that if something happened to some nodes or you are going to upgrade anything or patch something at the operating system level or you're going to upgrade the nodes maybe with some cube ctl of some different versions how to vacate your nodes or maybe how to make your node unschedulable okay how to tell scheduler to don't schedule any application on this node because i'm going to do some maintenance some cleanup job at the node level where i don't want any application to be scheduled on this node until i do my job so what are the commands i need to use okay hey kubectl hyphen hyphen help go and take a help and you will get to see the maintenance the cluster management command some like cordon uncordon and drain these are the three commands which will help you a lot while doing the maintenance these are the three commands you need to know regarding cordon mark which means mark the node as unschedulable which tell scheduler to don't schedule up any application on this node cordon uncordon mark node as schedulable now everything is fine on this node i have troubleshooted everything i have upgraded everything i have patched everything now you can schedule hey scheduler please schedule any application drain make a preparation drain in node in preparation for the maintenance those application on running on that node please migrate those application on healthy nodes okay so let me create one deployment kubectl create deployment mm, create kubectl create deployment and the name of the deployment is main application main hyphen app and hyphen hyphen image is equal to httpd and hyphen hyphen replica c is equal to 10 i'm just deploying some application on this cluster kubectl get ports hyphen no wide fine i can get to see lot of application scheduled it on node 1 and node 2 nobody is scheduled on on which node master node why what is the reason why your master is not allowing to run any application because we have a taint at the master which is repelling any part which is not allowing any application to run on the master node yes can i able to run any application on the master node as well yes what are the thing what is the thing i need to add to run my application on the master node as well inside my application yaml manifest i need to add toleration at the pod level so the first thing the first command we are going to execute is the kubectl pardon the name of the node is cube hyphen node 1 okay cordon cube hyphen node 2 good now if you see kubectl get ports not ports kubectl get ports all are running happily okay now the another thing is kubectl get nodes what is the thing i get to see when you do the cordon what is the job of cordon which make your application scheduling disabled scheduling disabled now if i create another deployment kubectl create deployment the name of the deployment is test app same everything is same what do you think they will go for pending state or running state kubectl get ports or kubectl get deployment and the name of the deployment is this is there any application which is in ready state no because we have made if i to how to make your node again schedulable uncordon now kubectl the same thing let me make cordon to uncordon on cube node to uncordon now kubectl get deployment 
the name of the deployment is test hyphen app. What do you think? All we all will be in running state. Ten out of ten. Yes. Now, what is our use of drain? What does it mean in real world drain in the sense moving something or removing something, terminating? Now, on which node this test app application running emptying? Now, kubectl get pods hyphen o wide. All the test pods are running on node two. If you see node two, let me make one thing. Let me drain cube node two to migrate all the application on node one. Okay, so the command is kubectl drain cube hyphen node two will throw an error. Hey, mother said there are some daemon set running. I need to ignore those daemon set. Yes, because I need monitoring while doing the troubleshooting. Yes. Okay. What is the status? If you see evicting means all the pods are evicted to healthier node. Yes, your node two is drained now. Kubectl get pods hyphen o wide on which node all the pods to be scheduled on on node one. If your node one, but your node one is allowing anyone because it is kubectl get nodes. Yes, how to kubectl uncard and the name of the node is cube node one. Kubectl get pods hyphen o wide. Now all the pods in running state. If you see, all are in running state. Where they are scheduled on node one. Okay, now. I done my job on node two. I think we are good. We I patched anything. If I want to run anything, maybe at the OS level or at the kernel level, I want to upgrade something. I do DNF by using DNF. I install some libraries, something related to my application, which are needed to be at the host level, at the kernel level. So we are good now. Kubectl on drain node as well. I need to use uncarden uncarden q Hyphen node two. In content, kubectl get nodes. All are schedulable. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you want to have a deeper dive and want to build a career in Kubernetes and Docker, including DevOps, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on mastering Kubernetes, Docker, and DevOps. That includes how to build in-demand skills and land a higher paying job. So for that, you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash k8s02. You have to click on book your free seat now. And after that, select an event date according to your availability. Enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to save this link on the extreme right. Add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.